Minister today is whether the type 2 diabetes is a hereditary disease or not. Because this question is there for several of our diabetic patients and for the population also. So, type 2 diabetes is a mixture of genetic as well as environmental uh, disease. So, there is a strong genetic association is there with type 2 diabetes. Especially if one of the parents is affected with type 2 diabetes, the risk of lifetime risk of type 2 diabetes for the offspring, for the son or daughter is around 50%. And if suppose both of your parents are having type 2 diabetes, the chance increases to 70 to 80 percent. So definitely there is a genetic link is there. But you can always prevent happening type 2 diabetes by following a healthy lifestyle, by sticking to your ideal diet, physical activity and maintaining your ideal body weight, preventing central adiposity. Definitely you can postpone or prevent the occurrence of type 2 diabetes in you, even though you are, if uh, your parents or your siblings may be having a type 2 diabetes. I am going to discuss an important aspect of diabetes that is hypoglycemia, how to manage at home. So whenever uh, your uh, family member, one of your family member is having a low sugar and you identify that there is a low sugar by based on symptoms, the first thing that you have to do is you have to see whether this uh, our family member can be managed at home or he requires a hospitalization. Because if he is having only mild symptoms and he is awake, it's better to give glucose by mouth or it's better to use some glucose tablets to increase the blood glucose level. But sometimes if they become unconscious, if the sugars are very low, they might become unconscious, they may not be able to take it orally, the blood sugars. And in that kind of a situation, it's better to avoid giving oral sugars in them and better you take them to a nearby hospital so that they may require an IV treat. Because uh, forcing a pay, an unconscious patient to take a oral might sometimes lead on to aspiration and some other medical complications. So better you identify them at an early stage so that they can be corrected with at home itself with oral glucose and they can lead a better quality of life in the future. I am going to discuss an important issue in type 2 diabetes management. This is the role of family members towards a patient with a type 2 diabetes. So suppose your parents or your kin, uh, kith and kin, your near and dear one is having type 2 diabetes, how you can help them in achieving a better uh, quality of life. Uh, because many times what happens is that the family members may not be aware of the diabetic complications which can occur to the, uh, their near and dear ones. So, as an import, as a healthcare provider, it's uh, our duty to educate not only the patient but also the family members so that they should know about the risks which can happen with the type 2 diabetes and they should be able to give some space for the diabetic patient to follow a healthy lifestyle by adjusting uh, their own uh, priorities and by giving more priority to the type 2 diabetes patient in adhering to the lifestyle management, especially with the diet as well as with the physical activity. So in that way you can definitely help your near and dear ones in managing their type 2 diabetes in a better way. So today I am going to discuss one important aspect of diabetes management. What is mean by diabetic emergencies? So, diabetic emergency means either an, uh, an acute complication of diabetes, either it can be due to high sugar levels, blood sugar or it can be due to low blood sugar levels. So, generally what we encounter in, at home may be a low blood sugar level, what we call as a hypoglycemia. So, suppose you are, uh, 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 your parents or someone in your family having a hypoglycemia or low sugar, the symptoms by which you can identify is the patient may be having a tremors, palpitation, excess sweating, giddiness and sometimes even they can go into unconscious state in very low blood sugar level. So you should be able to identify these symptoms and to manage them effectively at home so that they may be able to avoid such kind of episodes in near future because otherwise it can become a life threatening thing, it can even develop, they can develop seizures and it can be a life threatening complication for them. So better you identify these symptoms early in your family members and better to treat it effectively at home itself to avoid further conflict.